Hello, everybody. So by now, most of you who are coming to this video know that I have been recently very irked at the anti-free speech, anti-the free flow of ideas stance that pretend civil rights activist Jose Maria Chilito de Castro has been taking. Well, there's been development. This today, actually, uh, I just have had time to get on YouTube and actually record something about it. There's been development in the Chilito saga. I still don't have my lawsuit that I was promised. But Chilito, after a busy couple of weeks of putting out live streams in which he threatened physical violence against his critics, including, but not limited to, smashing their heads against... Uh, concrete, um, engaging in uh, uh, sexual innuendos and slurs against them, uh, demeaning their families, just generally being a, a, an asshole. After a week of making live streams like that and then immediately deleting them, uh, because that is what alpha males do, they... Uh, they don't stand by their words. They try to bury them as soon as they say them um, because alpha males alpha males are apparently not brave enough to uh, stand by what they say. And Chilito, as you may or may not be aware, claims basically to be the alpha male of alpha males. Well, after a couple of weeks of live streams like that and just out-and-out -out cowardice, Toledo then went ahead and uh, this past weekend issued just a veritable storm of copyright claims against other YouTube channels. Mostly the YouTube channels that dare to question Toledo. But these uh, copyright claims... Um, Copyright strikes, as they're called in the YouTube system. He submitted them to the YouTube system. After, by the way, trying to transform one of his ludicrous lawsuits from a, uh, I think, harassment suit into a copyright infringement suit. Uh, put out these copyright strikes. Absolutely ridiculous, because he was saying... You use as much as one frame of my videos and I will copyright strike you. Yeah. The brilliant legal scholar that Toledo is seems it seems that he has no concept of the fair use doctrine. Uh, he doesn't have much concept of a whole lot of things. But today uh, well, yesterday, actually, YouTube started responding to the flurry of uh, copyright strikes by declining a number of them, or refuting them, refusing, whatever the terminology is, I don't know. Um, I'm sure if Cholito was here, he would tell us because, well, he's a brilliant legal scholar and I'm not. Um, he has 20 years of uh, study of the Constitution I have 27 years, 28 years, maybe a little more. Well, decades, a couple of decades plus of, ex of, of, of uh, practical experience with copyright, uh, not necessarily law, but copyright issues as part of my professional life. But YouTube declined some of those strikes. And YouTube did something else. YouTube did this, which I shall now show you. Uh, yes, so this, and I'm doing this because uh, it's as a... I'm trying to be helpful to those out there who admire Chilito and who are going to, be miss, are going to miss him. Because he won't be around for a little while. Not here on YouTube, at least. So, here... This is a, a screenshot of a post that Cholito made on a presumably brand new Instagram account that he opened up because 
this is this is a screenshot presumably it comes from Toledo's own uh, community page over on his delete laws channel and again to make you guys who are going to miss him feel like he's right here still here's my finger oh yes and do take your finger and push the like button see button not button but button push the like button down below do it do it now uh, get your friends to do it too because uh, pushing the like button will uh, might grow my ego so it'll be like Toledo's um, anyhow, and maybe I'll understand why it is that he can't take criticism. So, anyhow, so, here, on my screen, is a screenshot that someone else took because, uh, I do not have an Instagram account. I will most likely never have one because I have less clue of Instagram than I do of Twitter. Now, just because we need to make sure that you all understand, here's my finger, here's my finger, due to community guideline strikes, you can't create posts right now. So what that means is that YouTube YouTube uh, decided that Cholito was violating community guidelines. Not all of those evil people who are daring to criticize him. Not all of those evil trolls that are bedeviling the alpha male and the brilliant constitutional scholar. No, 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 no. Cholito uh, is the one that has been judged to be in violation of YouTube's community standards. Now, they have more to say to Toledo. They explain it to him. Here is how they explain it. So, again, it's from an Instagram post, screenshot that someone made that is not me. It was made today, though, I think today, at 6.22 p.m. I don't know what time zone that is. I saw this about 11 o'clock at night or 10.30 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, actually, probably more like 9. Anyhow, I was, like I said, too busy to pretty much get do anything real on YouTube. But yeah, you can see there's some tabs there, my open tabs. A couple of Facebook tabs open because that's where I'm pulling this from. Um, so YouTube says to Toledo, they say, We know that this might be disappointing, but it is important uh, for for us that YouTube is a safe space f for all, including the people who disagree with Cholito. Shocking, I know. If content breaks our rules, we remove it. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal, and we'll take another look. Keep reading for, for more details. So presumably Cholito read on. Uh, it's always hard to tell with him because... Uh, Words mean different things to him than the rest of us. How your content violated the policy. YouTube creators share their opinions on a wide range of topics. However, there is a line between passionate debate and malicious harassment. You see that, Toledo? You see that? Well, I guess you can't. Well, maybe you can see this. I don't know. But I'm sure those fans of his out there can see this, but... You should realize this too. There's a line between passionate debate and malicious harassment. Content containing target harassment, including but not limited to stalking, threats. See that word there? Threats. That might be smashing people's head against concrete. Bullying, intimidation. Uh, let's see, intimidation. That might be threatening people to take their channels and bankrupt them. And uh, get them knocked off the internet, period. Yeah, I think that counts as intimidation. Vigilantism, unwanted sexualization, and sexually degrading language. Oh yes, this would be where Toledo has made all kinds of uh, 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 innuendos and what he believes to be insults about people's sexuality in those live streams that he so bravely deleted. Additionally, sharing personal information, blah, 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 whatever. He did that to a guy that more or less stalks himself, so I don't care about that. But it's very clear that Cholito brought this on himself, and yet Cholito down here says, within his brand new Instagram account, see? You can't make this bullshit up. I'm suspended from, uh, weird capitalization here, but I guess that must mean I'm suspended from posting on YouTube for a week. Uh, for a week for cyberbullying. Or maybe, he says, as he goes off into his 
conspiratorial uh, realm because nothing is Toledo's fault. It's always somebody else. He did not do it. Someone else did it. Yep, there's the finger. It wasn't anything he did other than, oh, well, could it maybe be, maybe could it be that I'm suing YouTube? Could it be that at YouTube Creators, what a shitty company YouTube is. Find me on Twitter. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. I don't think I'll find Chilito there. In fact, I think I'll just take joy in the slight break of his break from his absolute bullshit and follow other people's commentary on his uh, frivolous lawsuits. But yes, Chilito did not learn the lesson that if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. In fact, um, Chilito just continues to be stupid. And he will keep doing stupid things, undoubtedly. So this is the first of three community strikes that he's got, as, as I understand it. The first strike, you get uh, restricted from posting for a week. The second strike, I think it's a month before you can come back and post. And the third one, oh, your channel's gone. Has Chilito learned his lesson? Will he... Uh, be able to fight the power and fight for uh, the banning of dungeons, of which there are none in the U.S., um, the banning of torture cuffs, whatever the hell those are, um, and will he continue his quest to have his ego stroked, or will he continue to file idiotic lawsuits, threaten people with violence, uh, people who don't, you know, suck up to him in uh, acceptable to an acceptable level? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I'm for the open and free exchange of ideas. So I hope that Chilito pulls his shit together. And comes back on YouTube and behaves like an adult and a reasonable human being. Not threatening people, not insulting people um, with things that he thinks are insulting. Homophobe that he is. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll know in a week. Or, we, or if you want to torture yourself, you can go and find Delete Laws on Twitter and um, watch him cry and blame everybody else for his actions. You know, like it wasn't his fault that he wished uh, bone cancer on kids. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Those were his evil critics. They made him do that. Just like they made him do this. Or it's a conspiracy because YouTube is is afraid of his lawsuit. Oh my. Um, actually, I just had a shiver on my spine because I am fearing a lawsuit from Chilito. I still don't have it. Oh, and I am still a paying member of the Mass Health Report. Or, yeah, member. And I will continue to be a paying member of Mass Health Support. Thanks to Chilito. I never would have... I'm too cheap to pay for YouTube channels, but Chilito inspired me, and so I did. So, to that, for that, I thank Chilito. As for the rest of you, I would thank you to um, push the button. See, push the button. There's a button down there somewhere. And this is my finger moving around just so in case. You should probably clip this and save it so when you feel lonely from Chilito, you can uh, uh, come here, watch me move my finger on the screen, and just sort of point at you or point at just nothing. Like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I can actually, here, I can all sit silently like this. Or, of course, I have, I can grow a real beard, so it's a little hard for me to show that I have no lips or whatever he does. Um, and, of course, right before I go, let you bask in the glory of a, of, of a letter that Chilito wrote to us. And I'll quote his immortal words. Or maybe. Or maybe could it be that I'm suing at YouTube?
could it be that at you YT creators, what a shitty company. What a shitty company YouTube is. Find me on Twitter. Yeet, 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 yeet. What's up, playboys? Yeah, what's up? Uh, leave those little sycophants. I would greet you as well. Uh, anyhow, this is probably my last, uh, post on Toledo for at least a week. Although there could be more depending on how, uh, his lawsuits go. My money is on that. He's losing because, uh. Jose Maria Chilito de Castro, he don't stop losing. <laughs>